Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my art channel. I am doing another experiment uh, using TLP pigments as pearl cells. Um, I just uh, recently did this one and I love the results. I know on the camera it's not showing up uh, quite as vibrant, but this um, uh, blue color here is TLP Mermaid and it is a really bright uh, blue pearl color and I love it. Um, so I'm going to attempt to do this uh, again, but this time I'm going to uh, use multiple colors of uh, this little piggy pigments. And um, so I have uh, Harvest Gold and when I've mixed it up it looks like this. The um, I'll give you my recipe here in just a moment. This is um, Harvest Gold this is Burnt Sierra. Hold that up there. I believe that's in camera. <laughs> and then I have Caramel Drizzle. So I've kind of gone uh, ombre with this. I've got um, a light gold, a, a brighter gold, and then kind of a, um, uh, oh, what kind of color do I want to call that? Uh, it's more of a copper brown metallic it's really pretty but you can see that my mix does lighten the colors a bit um, these were mixed um, I dispersed my pigments in GAC 800 because for these pearl pores these uh, consistencies are very thin and the metallic effect it comes from the mica flakes so um, I wanted a really strong binder, and I don't think there's anything I've found that's better than GAC 800 for binding. So I dispersed it in, um, in the GAC 800, and then I added in an equal amount of Vallejo Pearl Medium, which is what makes that a appear a little lighter. Uh, and then I, whatever that volume was, I uh, put in two parts of Floetrol. So, um, I believe I had an ounce and a half of the uh, piggies with the GAC 800, and then I put in an ounce and a half of this, which gave me three ounces. I added in six ounces of Floetrol, and then enough water to thin it down to where it does leave the tiniest little mound, but it does disappear fairly quickly. So less than a second uh, that it disappears when I drizzle it in a circle. Um, and then my background color, my negative space color, is um, Amsterdam uh, Lamp Black. And this, I, you're not going to be able to see this because it's so dark, but um, this is thinned to, again, mix two parts Floetrol to one part paint, but it is thinned down to where it leaves absolutely no trace. And as a matter of fact, it makes an indent when it drizzles off of my stir stick. So this is thinner than this. Um, so. I'm gonna do uh, my composition a little bit differently this time. I want to kind of follow this ombre effect. So I'm going to um, pour these colors one at a time. I'm gonna put the gold kind of in a, a V, an uneven V shape here. I'm gonna tilt that out uh, and down, and then I'll add this, and I'll tilt that down, and then I'll add this. So it, the darker pearls should be here, and then uh, the me medium tone pearl should be here, and then the gold should be on the outside. That's the idea. Hopefully it works, we will see. So I'm going to, nope, I'm gonna leave it just like this. Um, I, I have gone ahead and painted my sides and edges uh, on the three sides, uh, because even though uh, the black paint is opaque, it is super thin, so I don't want this to gray out on the sides. I want it to be very dark. So painting my edges uh, gives me a little bit of um, confidence that I will get that. So I'm going to pour these out. It's easier to pour them in smaller cups than it is the larger ones. So I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna follow right here from the corner. I don't want my curtain to come all the way out here. I want it to come from the bottom. And I don't want it completely even. Maybe 
a little bit more. around and I'll show you what that looks like if I tilt it down. Hope I haven't used too much. Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong
The wet result. I'm so happy with this. It's beautiful. These pearls are gorgeous. Let me see if I can get in there close. Look at that. And I definitely can see the difference between some of the colors. Um, I believe all of this out here is the harvest gold. That would be like that pearl right there. That would be the uh, burnt sierra. And then the caramel drizzle or the, these darker parts here. So it definitely has multiple, I can see multiple colors in it. It's very random. It looks like, you know, it looks like magic. <laughs> Which is the effect I was kind of going for. I'm not sure yet whether I like it coming down in a curtain like this or having it rise. Uh, I'll be able to tell that one it, once it's dry. But I'm super happy with the experiment so far. I love all of this negative space. I turned off my overhead lights so that uh, there wasn't a, a glare right in the middle of the canvas. So it's a little hard to see where the edge is, but that black um, is beautiful. 
with these gold colors. So yeah, let's see how this dries. So here are the dry results. Having a hard time getting the right lighting so, you, so my camera will actually pick up these pearls because as I get closer, you'll see they are definitely gold, but from a distance, uh, the tone kind of mutes out on the camera on my phone, uh, but in person. You can definitely see the difference in the colors, so I'm glad I used multiple colors. And I was interested to see, uh, the last time I did the experiment, I used a transparent base coat, and this time I used uh, black, which is opaque, so I wasn't sure um, if it was gonna react any differently, but it seems to have done the exact same job. By the way, that, those are uh, cicadas you can hear in the background, and the howler monkeys. <laughs> and my cats. Hey, Raya. Can I say hi? Hey, Raya. What are you up to, baby girl? I know, it's dinner time. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas of something new and fun to try. And, you know, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And go mix up some paint and be fearless.